everyone, today I'm doing my MAC lipstick collection as well as a swatch of each one on my lips. So let's just take a moment of silence to wish our lips goodbye. My lips are going to be sore after this. Okay, so I do have a ton, I'm not going to lie, um, but please remember I've been collecting these over like the last three years. Um, so yeah, and a lot of these I actually got from Back to Mac, which if you don't know what Back to Mac is, it's when you take in six empty products. So when I depotted all my eyeshadows, I took back all of the pots and I got a bunch for free. And every time I used up a foundation, you know, that's one thing. And so yeah, I did get quite a few of these from Back to Mac. So I'm going to try and do them a little bit in order. They're not going to be perfectly in order, but I'm starting from the lighter shades and going up to the reds and dark colors. So... I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah! So this first one is Creme de Nude and this was my first ever lipstick by MAC I think. This one is a cream sheen and it's basically just a shiny kind of nude colour. I better take off my lipstick I'm wearing already. So this is Creme de Nude. I find this one a very easy to wear nude because it is really moisturising, slightly glossy and it just gives a lot of dimension to the lips so it doesn't look as ghostly as some nudes because you can see the dimension of the colour underneath like your real lip colour it's not just like concealer lips or anything like that so I am really a big fan of this colour here looks really nice with this eye makeup here like a neutral smoky eye these next couple I have depotted the first one I'm going to show you is Pretty Please by MAC and it's a luster So there we have Pretty Please. This one is similar to Creme de Nude, but it's a bit more pinky purpley. Um, so you can still kind of see the colour underneath your lips. It's a luster, so it's very shiny. It's not frosty, so that's good. The next one I have here is quite popular. I should really do this in a while, but I'm just going to do it now. This is Angel, and it's a frost. For me, Angel is quite... A neutral pink it's almost like a my lips but better color so that's what that one there looks like next we have myth which is my favorite nude by Mac looks like that it's like a peachy um, beige toned nude and this one is a satin so it's fairly matte but it's got a tiny little bit of a sheen to it and it's very like opaque That's what that one there looks like. A little bit darker than Creme de Nude, so it's a little bit more wearable if you're a little bit more tan. It looks really, really amazing with a pink lip gloss on top of it as well. I only have a couple of limited edition colours here, but this is one of them. This is the Marilyn Monroe Collection in Pure Zen. It's a cream sheen. Looks like that. It's very similar to Myth, but a little bit more brown, kind of. I'm trying to think of a celebrity. I don't know if it's Lana Del Rey or someone else, but... Someone I saw a picture of and they had a nude on and it was just a little bit more brown rather than a pink or peachy colour. Um, like a pink or peachy nude. It was a brown nude and this is like the perfect colour and it's just, I don't know, it's quite old school looking. Like what you'd wear with like a brown lip liner or something like that. But I actually really do like it and I think it's very classy, like a classy kind of nude. This next one here is Flesh Pot. I got this in a collection I think. I'm not sure if it's limited edition or not, but this is one of my other favourite nudes. It's very similar to MAC um, Myth. This is a satin also, so they look almost identical, but I think this one is a little bit more pink. This is the look colour I would wear if I was going for a black smoky eye. Um, I just love the way it looks. It's slightly pink, so it balances the blacks and greys really, really well. Next here we have Playing Koi. This is from the Quite Cute Collection. If they ever re like bring this one out again, I am going to buy like three of them because I love it. It's a pink nude, this one. This is what I would call my perfect daytime nude colour, so anything with like a neutral eye or anything like that or like even a colourful eye, this goes really well with purple eyeshadow, so I really find a lot of use for this one and I really hope they bring it out again. So yeah, this one was limited edition. This next one is a different formula. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Lipstick and you're perfect already. Can't remember if this was limited edition either, but yeah, I'm not sure, but this is what this one looks like. The texture of these ones is quite dry, like at first they feel real creamy but they go quite dry and then they don't come off so they last a long time but that's what that one there looks like. It's quite similar to like almost like a mixture of Playing Koi by MAC and Flesh Pot by MAC. That's what I would kind of call it. Next here I have Hue by MAC and this one is a glaze. I don't really like this one very much. A lot of people love this on YouTube and it looks like a really pretty pink colour when you look at it in there but I just don't like 
the like formula I think it is and just the opacity of it, I don't really like it. That's what it looks like there. I mean it looks good on camera, it looks okay. It's just not one of my favourite ones, but I mean, it is a nice colour, I've got to admit. I just never wear it, so I don't know why. This other one, I'm in the same boat. It's another raved one that everyone loves on YouTube, and I just, I don't know, I don't reach for it very often. It's Cream Cup, and it's a Cream Sheen. And Cream Sheen's are my favourite formula, but I don't know why I don't reach for this. I would say this one's similar to Angel. It's like a My Lips Bit Better colour. It's very wearable, so if you like just... A really easy to wear pink for everyday wear for work office school whatever this would, this would be it because you can barely tell like you're wearing anything but it does make your lips look better than nothing you know what I mean like it's a very healthy color this next one here is a satin and it's pink Novu is that how you say it I'm not sure but it looks like this it's a really bright pink um, but it's not like a crazy bright pink it's just like a very neutral bright pink I barely ever wear this either That's what that one there looks like. I'm doing my swatch video in a separate one to this one, but I do have some swatch, I mean some dupes for this colour I feel like from NYX, which are way cheaper and you can get the exact same colour. But that's what that one looks like. The next one is another limited edition. This is one of my favourites. This is a satin and it's the Betty Bright. It's a really nice bright coral pink. I find the formula on this one impeccable. That's what that one there looks like. I just adore peachy colours and corals and orange toned colours on myself. This is like an orangey peachy toned pink so I love it so much. I'm really excited to do my um, dupe video for you guys. I'm just waiting on a couple more colours to come in so that I have everything I need. <laughs> We're almost halfway. <laughs> this next one is my favourite MAC lipstick. Guess what it is. Saint Germain by MAC bright Barbie pink. A lot of people are scared of this colour but I honestly it just I think it looks amazing. I find it very very creamy um, and really moisturising. This doesn't dry out my lips at all. That's what that one there looks like. It's a very bright vibrant Barbie pink so nothing for the faint hearted but it's actually very wearable if you just pair it up with a neutral eye it'll just make your lips pop. This next one here is a satin, a very popular colour, and it's called Snob, and it's like a purpley pink colour. I don't wear this one often because on me it pulls very purple. It's almost like if I was going for a purple lip, I could almost wear this. It's actually quite nice now that I look at it again. This next one is the Viva Glam Nikki. I think it's limited edition, and it looks like that. It's another like coral kind of pink. I really like this. I haven't worn it much yet because I only just recently got it. That's what that one looks like, so slightly coral but just a very vibrant kind of pink coral. More pink. Awesome story, I was editing this video and an entire portion of the video was corrupted. So here I am on a different day filming like the middle part of the video. You'll return to the before me in a second. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna keep going. So here I have my Sheen Supreme lipstick in Behave Yourself. Now this is really similar to MAC Saint Germain except it's a different formula and it has like tiny little glitters in it which once this wears off after a while it leaves like glitters on your lips. So if you don't like that look, don't go for it. But I think it actually looks quite pretty so I'll show you what this one looks like. That's what that one looks like. So yeah, it is a sheen supreme. That's a bit of a tongue twister. So it is very glossy looking. See, I don't know if you can tell right now but there's like heaps of little glitters on my lips. Next here we have, I'm just trying to decide which one to do first about town. Um, this is like a dark berry red, not berry red, berry pink. It is a amplified formula. Slides on like an absolute dream. Super creamy and moisturizing and that's what the color looks like there. I feel like it's a very basic kind of color. Like there's probably a million cheaper brands that would have this exact same color which hopefully I'll be able to find one for you in my swatch video soon. Okay this one here is like a new favorite of mine. This is a matte and it's recently become permanent and it is called Candy Yum Yum. Although this color is matte it is very very creamy and it's not drying at all like it's a really nice matte formula if you ask me and I think the color is awesome. I almost wish it was a bit more neon but I think it's just my undertones that brings it down a bit because in the tube it is super neon. 
Um, so I really recommend this one. I love it. Next here I have a color called Impassioned. I love this as well. This is like a really dark, not dark, it's a darker pink. Um, very vibrant and just gorgeous and it looks really good with lip gloss on top, like real good. For me this would be like the perfect mix of a red and pink. Like it's that kind of tone where you could almost call it a red but it's still pink. Like it is pink. But I don't know how to explain it. I just love it. It's almost got like a duochrome effect. Um, I just think it's awesome. Super vibrant. Um, the formula is an amplified so it's really creamy and glides on really smoothly. Um, with these darker amplified colours it's probably better to use a um, lip pencil just so that they don't smudge around because they are so creamy. Next here I have a Sheen Supreme and this is in full speed. And I did a whole blog post on this particular lip stick which I will write down below like the link to my blog. I did swatches and different ways how to wear it because I figured out another way you can wear it and make it look really gorgeous. It looks like that. It's like a dark corally orangey ready pink. I don't even know. Just look. <laughs> the formula is amazing. Super creamy. Super moisturizing. It is a Sheen Supreme so it's got that Sheen finish and it's like the perfect orangey pinky ready color. I don't even know. I'm so terrible at describing colour but that's what it looks like and I think it's gorgeous and as I said check out my blog for another way to wear this one which looks amazing as well if you like nude colours. Next here we have one of my new favourites. This is one of Hamish's favourites on me. This is a cream sheen and it's called Ravishing and it looks like the most basic colour ever in the tube and it is a really basic colour but it's just very classy and very work appropriate and I think any age could wear this like even more mature women like this won't look stupid on you. It's such a gorgeous colour. Not like other colours do look stupid, but you know what I mean. Like, once people start getting older, I know my mum's a bit like this. She's a bit nervous to wear real bright colours and pinks and things because she thinks that she's too old for it. And <laughs> it's silly, but I think this colour is just gorgeous on everyone. So yeah, that's another one of my favourites. The next one I have here is called Costa Chic. And it's like a pinky, coral, orangey, god knows what. Kind of similar to Ravishing but a bit more opaque and bright and it's a frost. It's got a slightly frosty finish but it no it's nothing that bothers me. I'm not a huge fan of frosts but this one isn't like frost frost. This is my favourite orange lipstick in the whole world and one of my favourite lipsticks in the whole world and it's Morange by MAC. Amplified formula. It is amazing. It's just so much fun and it makes your teeth look really white and I just love it. Okay, so this is the last one I have to mention while I am, you know, today because we've got that other portion that didn't get deleted next. So you will flash back to the previous me before. That does, that's so confusing. So this is Ruby Woo and I got this from the Mac store but it doesn't actually say on it where, like, what the formula is. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, this is from the Mac store so it's definitely not a fake. I have a feeling it's a matte. This one is quite hard to apply because it's very drying, but it means it lasts a really long time, so you don't have to reapply it very often at all. I really do not wear reds, and it's because I used to be so pale they looked really odd on me, but I really like this one. <laughs> this next one here is Russian red. This is like the Gwen Stefani red, and really, really famous. It's a matte as well, so again, it lasts a long time. This one's a darker vampire red, um, not super dark of course, you can tell, but it is a little bit darker than Ruby Ruby Woo. Try say that quick. I really do like it, looking at it. I like Ruby Woo more though. My lips are very sore right now. <laughs> the last one I have here is Dark Side, and I have lipstick all over my fingers. This is an amplified as well. Dark Side, it's a really dark purplish colour. I haven't worn this in yonks. I haven't worn this since maybe a year ago. That's what that one looks like there. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if it was helpful. Um, I really hope it was because doing lip swatches I feel like you get a much better interpretation of the colour. Like when you go to buy it like you know exactly what it's going to look like rather than just on my hands. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you the day after tomorrow. Bye.